big viper ladies and gentlemen unfortunately today somebody has to be ethered but real quick let me say this right to everybody i've talked to i'm not going to say shit all right which some of you may not believe that now but you need seriously need to understand how crazy c dot was on my dick plus the balls how much of a groupie and a fan he was being for three for three weeks in a row since i dropped that tgs vs f95 video and out of nowhere he gets on facebook trying to make it seem like i'm the weird one now there's about 200,000 people in rochester and before this video there was only really only one person i truly didn't like which was dini dinita houdini whatever you want to call him before that i didn't really like black because he tried to sun me on facebook and he called me the worst storyteller ever but going through black's page and seeing that you know he's thinking of ending his life i figured on a serious note i probably should stop fucking with this man now today fortunately for dini at least he's gonna have a new friend which is gonna be officer c dot now officer c dot made the fatal mistake of beefing with a c i n a certified internet nigga now ladies and gentlemen that was obviously very stupid of him to do right i'm just getting off work i'm going out his facebook he hasn't said a fucking thing about me already he's already learned to keep his bum ass mouth closed right we all been on the internet our whole lives but i've really been on the internet my whole life right i've studied the greatest so let's start at the very beginning of directed by viper and let me say please watch the whole video so you can see all the evidence now i first started making regular hip-hop videos just about like trending topics but i privated them all because honestly i can't handle how poorly edited they were like my new videos are fire and i noticed a lot of people didn't watch that gsl news video i promise it's not a video of me glazing it's literally like a warren chirac style video but then about three weeks ago right i saw on the whole internet nobody's talking about these demonic tgs and f95 dude so i was like you know what let me throw up a little video about them you know not thinking much about it and to my surprise the video actually did well right and at the time i only had 300 subscribers and honestly i, I could thank someone who shared it so to the person that shared it i highly appreciate it but i don't want to bring up names in this video All right but after i made that video guess who my very first groupie and fan was it was none other than informant c dot now this bitch ass nigga probably blocked me and deleted my comment on youtube so he thought i wouldn't be able to see the comment that is hilarious right like i said i'm a certified internet nigga i finesse now you can see the comment on the screen right here mr c dot says gang just get with me i've been around since the shit started right something like that now there was a comment before that where he asked for an interview but I was, unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that one. But in itself, him saying, gang, just get with me. I've been around since it started. It's already some federal informant activity, right? I, had, I didn't even respond to anything he said yet. He's already saying he's affiliated. And you could also see on the screen, this is his YouTube that he subscribed to me with. Just so you know, that is in fact him making the comment. Now, like I said, I couldn't get the comment where he asked for an interview. But that's fine because I have the Facebook receipts. So you can see right here he says, I need an interview, G. Now, side note, this nigga has literally been on my whole plus the since I started posting. I got to make that abundantly clear. And all of this is literally within the span of three weeks, which is why I'm still flabbergasted while I'm recording this. So he follows that up by saying, let's work. We got to get you on the right track with certain shit so so what kind of real nigga volunteers info to a youtuber right like I, I don't even think i was responding to him he's like fiending to tell me shit i'm like god damn so then on facebook he confirms what he said on youtube and he said i was one of the four that started it when i was 11 and he had the audacity to call me suspect and informant like i said i was dubbing his messages left and right he would not stop fucking messaging me it was so annoying then this informant said any way we could redo that vid and get some things right so this is like the fucking fifth sixth attempt at trying to get the whole truth nothing but the truth so help him god by any means necessary the vast majority of shit in my videos is from news articles and then I sprinkle in hearsay from credible sources. Now, one thing I'm noticing, it doesn't matter who I talk to. Somebody says, oh, no, they're pussy. They're fake as fuck. They're a clown. 
I make a TGS video. Why are you posting about TGS? I ran down on him. Okay, fuck it. I'll make a video about X group. Now, why did you post about X group? They hopped off the porch like last year. They're pussy as fuck. Dude, this group. I do that group. Man, that's not even a real gang, bro. What are you doing? You got to post about these people. It's like, no matter what I post, somebody's going to say some shit is wrong. So after that, he said, pay him $35 for an interview, which I'm not doing, you goofy ass, bitch ass nigga. How the fuck are you going to ask me for an interview and then, then tell me I got to pay you? Are you dumb? I'm not going to lie, though. Right At this time, I didn't know he was fraudulent. So I agreed to pay the $35 on Friday. In the meantime, waiting until Friday, I asked a ton of people, yo, is this dude valid? Is he worth paying for an interview, right? Everybody said no. He stays in the fucking house. Nigga went to jail for six months and came out of old head somehow, even though he's only 20 years old. He put in absolutely no pain whatsoever. He's odd. He's strange. And one person told me who was not a street dude, he said he didn't even say if he was really valid or not. He said $35 isn't a bad price. It's not a bad price, but it's the principle of the whole thing. You asked me for an interview. Now, after this, he sends me his trash ass music, right? The the old head music he's making when he's only 20 years old. That's how I know he got scared straight in jail. And finally, for the love of God, after I dub that message, because he's a weird ass groupie, he realizes I don't want to fucking talk to him. So then he waits a while and then asks me to hop on live with him. So he asked me to hop on a live and I said, no, I don't show my face. Reason being, because later you're going to find out he said that that was suspect nigga i don't show my face one because it's not necessary and two one of my favorite youtubers i'm sure you can guess dj academics got half a million subscribers before he showed his face so clearly showing your face is not necessary and i know other youtubers who've amassed a million subscribers without showing their face to this day if you really want to know what i look like you sassy ass nigga i would say i look like a love child between chris brown and yk osiris no homo moving on he replied to me saying how are you gonna blow up if you don't show your face i responded make good content and people will catch on now already right you can't come back from this bro not only did he want to tell me shit he was fiending to tell me shit i mean he was like gonna in the interrogation room when they offered him a big mac and i didn't even have to offer him anything he was just yeah i've been in this shit since 11 we got to get you on track i'm like god damn strange strange so i end up finally reluctantly entertaining this strange ass clown in a phone call and unfortunately i do not record phone calls I will be honest, RX Poppy called me one time. I thought to be mature and have a conversation about the video, but he really just called me to clown Rochester. He said, anybody from Rochester who's, who comes to his show is getting beat up and shot. He clowned my YouTube channel. He clowned all the rappers in Rochester, I mean. But through all that, he said, I'm a rat. Now, what I was gonna do, because I recorded that phone call, I was gonna take that clip out of context and post it, but I'm like, nah. One, that's weird as fuck, and two, I don't want people thinking that I'm gonna fucking record their phone calls and put it on the internet, so I didn't do that shit. But if there was any phone call that I would record and post, it would have been RX Poppy, which I know for a fact would get views, so I promise I'm not gonna record your phone calls. That's some C dot shit. Now, during our phone call, he told me some pretty fucking wild shit, right? Honestly, it's too much to follow. The breakdown of Tev getting stabbed at the parade, a nigga getting hit in the head with a brick, whether or not foreign backdoor Taj Billy, why the video was inaccurate because 7.9 isn't even really a thing, a ton of shit. And the whole story is insane and it's long. And that's why I've only been making short videos because there's so many insane details of the shit. It's impossible. Now you're probably thinking, what did C dot do to make me this mad to make this video about this bitch ass fucking clown right here? Good question. He messaged me like a day or two ago and said, take that video down about tech tech. I responded, no, right? He didn't even attempt to work with me and he didn't say, please. Pretty much I heard, hey, I know you spent hours making that video. And as soon as you got off work around 6 p.m. and then settled in around 7 p.m. and got to work and then you didn't finish until 11 p.m so that your small but loyal fan base can have something to watch. Yeah, I know all that happened, but fuck it. Like, take that shit down. That's why I simply said, 
No. So this made Commander C. Dot super emotional and his 48 hour period began. Even though I told this fucking pussy lips right here, I'm unbiased. If you go to my channel right now, you will see that I've posted about the North, East, South, and the West. Now I posted more about the East because you got a lot of the youth there. A lot of fan pages are hitting me up saying, you know, make a video about these people, make a video about these people. I kind of do what the people want. So this bitch is mad I made a video about his boy. Like I said, I'm not ass kissing and dick sucking nobody. I have to report on all sides. And like I said, I don't want to bring up too many names in this, but I like Key Blick. I like Key Blick's music, but a TGS fan page hit me up the other day and they sent me a clip where it appears as though he might be briskly walking out of an establishment due to some alleged TGS members following him. So after I said no, he responded bet with a laughing emoji and I didn't think too much of it because, well, CDOT is a known bitch and he's the softest nine. I mean, even if he didn't know where I was, I wouldn't have to worry about anything. He's indoors just as much as I am. So probably yesterday, I want to say it's about 11 p.m. and he's just itching and scratching, fiending to talk shit about me on Facebook, right? So in the first post he makes, he attempts to dry snitch on 401 by showing a comment that says, why you ain't do us? F95 vs 400 slash 41. They killed two of my people. Hashtag rip smurf. Hashtag rip QB. Now informant CDOT. For the love of God. Dead ass serious. Why would you even bring attention to this comment? And then later have the audacity to call me fucking suspect and weird. And the people in the comments who agree with him. Acting like I'm weird. I peeped. I'm not going to say shit to you or about you. Even though one of you tried to say that I would. I'm not going to say shit about you. Next time, use common sense. That's all I'm going to say. But like I was saying, why would Officer C. Dot even repost that comment? Because he also made a post showing that that YouTube channel was made two weeks ago, so it's probably a troll account. But he's making the info seem valid, which is weird as I don't know what. Now, as far as I know about 4-1, they wouldn't do that. And just in case C. Dot's favorite group of people, aka RPD, is tuning in right now, I can assure you, 4-1 would not do something this evil. And actually, the group 4-1 started because they would give out 41 turkeys on Thanksgiving. And then on Christmas, they would give 41 different families a bunch of gifts. Like, they're kind-hearted people. Trust me. And you can hear my voice. I am a model citizen. I've spoken to 4-1 personally. These are family men. Not rodents to society like Sir C. Dot right here. After that post, he made a post saying, yo, son, whoever Jack in the block giving this man info is crazy. Why you ain't do us? Question mark. Niggas is fans for real. Literally. Now, even if niggas were fans, they're not fans of you. You have 41 fucking subscribers, right? Listen to me close because you're a groupie, you're a fan, you unsubscribed, and I know you still peep my shit. You and your sorry ass fucking life will never, ever make it out the hood rapping. You better start trapping. You better start scamming. Get in tune with Rich Baby. Your songs are do do. At this point, you're simply a lick for Ace and Esco, right? You pay Ace and Esco five hundred dollars to get five hundred views. Nick, he pays a dollar per view. What kind of shit is that? And then Officer C Dot made a post saying, "I don't know about this shit, but who the fuck is a nigga claiming the block? Niggas don't know no better for real." With a laughing emoji and a hundred emoji. Now, clearly, you do know because you already told me, clown. And then the off chance you didn't know is because you stay indoors all fucking day, which I don't know why he's afraid of the God fearing TGS and the 401 family, man. And then the one that had my fucking blood boiling, right? And made me maybe realize I got to ether this fucking clown. Officer C. Dot said that creator that just popped out the blue with wrong info up to something. Really? So when you wanted an interview, when you were fiending for an interview, I wasn't up to something then, but now I'm up to something. When we spoke on the phone and you told me all that shit, I wasn't up to something then, but now I'm up to something now. When you voluntarily said on the internet on my YouTube page, you've been in this shit since 11, I wasn't up to something then, but I'm up to something now. Right? But now all of a sudden, your little feelings are hurt because I dubbed the fuck out of you multiple times and then I made a video about tech tech. Now I'm up to something. Clown behavior, feminine behavior, hormone replacement therapy behavior, mad estrogen in this nigga. I'm going to pray for you, mad estrogen in him for no reason. So he said, me popping out of nowhere 
is suspect now how is that weird right don't say i popped out of nowhere no since february 14th or whatever up until today i've pretty much made a video every single day that's why i'm getting steady growth and i'm actually like relatively decent at my craft unlike you nobody in this world fucks with you god damn he's so fucking weird and in the comments he said page made last month nigga february's like three four months ago slow as hell holy shit and a new page is not a red flag it just means i'm new he's just mad he, he's been he's just mad he's been working at this shit since 11 and only has 41 subscribers right it's so fucking lame it hurts right you can see in the foreign tev's old videos see that it's in the see that's in the background gyrating and diddy bopping and shit to make foreign tev look cool with money he said he's got he's got money in that video how the fuck did you go homeless if you had money that doesn't make any sense right then after he said i popped out the blue i'm up to something he screenshotted our conversation where i said i don't show my face but i already told you guys why unnecessary and there's plenty of successful youtubers who don't do it and also officer c dot you forfeited the opportunity to call anybody suspect you rat ass nigga you might as well flee the city like rx poppy i think i already used that joke on dini now i'm thinking about it and a couple people in the comments said that i was an informant and a bunch of other shit but like i said earlier i'm going to just let you slide because after you watch this you will see who the informant is right who the informant is and who's the man who's simply being informed do i sound like i grew up around that shit no you probably say that i sound white i would say that i sound articulate i'm an articulate black and hispanic man but no fuck no he's not about to call me a goddamn informant now there's a couple things in between all that but it was mainly just shit talk and before the night ended he made his two final posts after i exposed this fucking clown still at this point he, he's doing damage control at this point he's made 50 posts today so that people don't know what happened i will assure you they will find out though you fucking bitch you should have kept your fucking mouth closed about me so the first post is viper shade room dropping stay in tune with a bunch of emojis it's not funny bro then he said big dog ace the video ready this fake academics nigga talking wild crazy now clown shit Every logical thing I said, he responded with a fucking laughing emoji. That's how I know I won. Absolutely nothing in his brain whatsoever. All right, this clown with 41 subscribers is fucking jealous and envious because I have a work ethic and a little bit of talent and I lap them time and time over. All right, you have like 1500 views on your page, bro. You are lame as a bitch. And please do not come to me talking about, oh, I got 75K on Ace's channel. I got 100K on Esco. I got. 30k with fresh vision nigga that's fresh as money when the first of the month comes around fresh cashes that check fresh pays the taxes on that that's all fresh that's property of fresh llc you on your own page your last video like i checked had like 17 views and i'm not even trying to gas myself up but i gotta talk my shit because he came out the woodworks talking crazy about me i get 17 views in the first 15 minutes i drop something which is a hey, compared to him i'm lit i'm lit as a bitch and you know what i know exactly why this fucking clown is jealous right number one this nigga had to get turned out in jail because he's getting his fingers done right here on some real sassy shit number two he's shorter than his bitch so i know that's why he's indoors 24 7 because he's smaller than his ops and from what i could tell from his ops music videos his ops look tall right i don't want to bring names up but deuce divino looks like he's six foot three or some shit like officer c dot he's a little guy he eats lunchables and kick cuisines and shit like that the third reason this goofy ass short ass pussy is jealous and mad because i'm on the path to success right and his bitch is mad fucking ugly and i should put a picture up here but i'm not going to right i'm gonna spare you you fucking clown number four you fuck the bitch who has herpes you dirty pimple dick bastard but again i'm gonna leave that female in question out of this as well number five your credit score is mad fucking low you irresponsible bitch get your credit up you got kids on some grown man shit get your weak ass credit up and number six you're just fucking ugly you got no redeemable qualities at all you're short your bitch is ugly you had a baby with an ugly bitch you never leave your house you can't leave your house because you joined a gang 
And if all that wasn't enough, you got a bad credit score. So I'm going to finish this off by saying, fuck you, you fucking clown. Suck the entire circumference of my dick. Don't mention me in any more fucking posts. Don't ask me to do shit for you. Don't ask me for a fucking interview. Don't send me your trash ass old head music. Don't even offer information for me. Do not say shit to me, you bitch ass fucking clown. And I, I just went to his Facebook. All of a sudden, now that I'm on his ass when he wants to come out the blue to fucking talk shit about me. All of a sudden, he's on a spiritual journey. He's lighting incense in his room and shit. Fuck out of here. He's, now he's talking about he used to be homeless and trying to get some sympathy. Fuck you. All the ops you got and you said, nah, fuck my ops. I'm going to go for a YouTuber. You're lame. And I didn't even mention how you got ran down on at the church on Emerson. They made you skedaddle. You were running like a track star. And man, this video is probably about to be long as fuck. But hey, informant C dot, you fucking pussy who thought he could beat me at my own game. No, 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 no. It's not going to work ever. Like I said at the beginning, everybody else I talked to, you're good. I'm not going to violate you like I did C dot. What perturbed me about the situation is that how much he was on my dick. And then literally within 24 hours, he switched. Like, this has never happened to me in my life before. That's why I'm still, like, confused as fuck. Now, if you say some crazy shit about me, I might go to your pictures and roast you. But I'm not about to make a whole goddamn documentary about you like I'm about to do this fucking clown C-Doc. Because I gotta make a, an example of, out of this bitch. I'm chilling late at night and I just see my Facebook notifications starting to go off. This man had a couple people hoodwink for a second. After this dropped, I won't have to worry about shit. And a very, very, very wise man once said, most of the time it be people from your own hood sending in downfall information about you. Watch your friends, ladies and gentlemen. With that being said, I had to light a new op pack in the air and find out is this shit gas or what. Fuck you, C-Dot. Your bitch is ugly. You're a pussy. Like, comment, subscribe. Big Viper, I'm out, man. Peace.